Hi, welcome back to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe so I can continue doing these videos. Thank you. You can find me on all social media by Paranormal Geek. Hi, welcome to my channel. Welcome, Patty Negri. I didn't never thought in a million years you'd be on my channel. Hi, welcome. <laughs> Hi, thank you so much. Thank you for having me on. This is great. This is awesome. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, so Patty is a psychic medium and a good witch. She has been on shows, ghost adventures, and radio talk shows like Coast to Coast. Um, see, the first question is, from what I read, your first paranormal experience could be said was at the age of eight years old when you did your first seance. Um, yeah. Any other moment, what was the most impactful other than that that moment well that one, I mean that even my first aunt that was impactful because I, I I mean I'd been talking to spirit since I was a toddler I thought everybody could I literally just thought you know the guy in the closet the guy under the bed they are not imaginary they're real beings I could get real information from um I I just thought it was normal and I actually do think kids can see stuff till it gets taught out of us it, it just didn't get taught out of me. And I always had this little obsession with the other side and talking to dead people, but it wasn't in a dark or scary or morbid way. So at that seven, eight years old, I just went in my little hallway, stuffed towels under the doors, no lights, no windows, came up with my first chat, came up with my first lifting of the veil, it, however a seven or eight year old would see it. And the, my room filled with orbs and lights flying. It was like, Woo, as I'm running out of the room screaming, <laughs> I was jumping up and down at the same time going, this is real and this is controllable. So um, that was, a, again, that this is a, a real world and I could truly learn to work with. So thus I became a seeker and studying it my whole life, religion, philosophy, cosmologies, occult sciences, regular sciences, to take it all down to the truth at the least at the base of everything which comes down to energy it's all energy i see see we have that in common because i think i i did the same i had an experience and i just started looking or researching asking mom <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> um it's like what is this i know uh, and i do think yeah kids are gifted <laughs> And my little girl just saw something the other day. She's like, what's the lights and the blue and the green that I keep seeing? Like, you're fine. It's just fairies and angels. <laughs> Perfect answer. Perfect yeah. answer. <laughs> and there's a lot of fairies out these days. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, the second question. What was the scariest? Oh, you kind of said that. What was the scariest paranormal moment in your life? Mm, I think the scariest was, um, again, I've always felt in control. A few, a few of the episodes of, go, of Ghost Adventures, I, they put me into someplace really scary. Ed Gaines Cauldron at J Zach's Museum is scary. The Black Dahlia House is scary. I think my biggest scary one was actually I was at Marilyn Manson's house. And, and that's when I, a kid got disrespectful because it's all about respect. And literally uh, one of the cameramen burst into flames. I mean, real spontaneous combustion. Like... <laughs> angel wings up his back and I'm like ah, I'm calling in my guards and wardians which ended up looking like a tattoo on his back <laughs> that where the burning was because I called in dragon energy which I work with so that was kind of cool for a scary bad thing um, um not even not that long ago less than a year ago uh, I broke my own rule of having things set up correctly and really doing dotting my eyes and crossing my t's and we were going to go with a dark spirit which I don't in any of my public spirits, uh, my public seances or mediumship, but I literally let this guy in and I was thrown up against my dining room chair. I was just leaning over it because I hadn't set up correctly. And I heard this crack, 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 crack. And I start to slide down. And my friend's like, are you okay? I'm like, nope, nope. And, and, and I always say I'm okay. I could have my arm chopped off. It's like, I'm fine. <laughs> no, really, I'm okay. But I'm like, nope, nope, no. Nope. I had to go to an emergency room and literally something had ripped all the cartilage off my floating ribs. I mean, that's crazy strong for, you know, not a human being being there. So it's it's a powerful world out there. But the but even no matter how scary her head down or what I will be willing to allow in, and sometimes you you know, being a professional, you have to go to the dark places because that's what people want. 
um, I still do firmly believe that this is our realm of existence. And the other side really does have to play by our rules. People just don't know that. So they give their power away. Uh, and then, then they let whatever else take over. You know, unless you have a severe addiction problem, a severe mental imbalance, we are in control. Just like, no, you cannot do that. You know, in the name of whatever you believe in, in the name of God, in the name of your angels, in the name of your kid, in the name, um, but you can't do it with fear because fear will feed a negative spirit. You can't do it with anger. Anger will feed a negative spirit. You just got to do it like a parent, like a, nope, my house, my body, my room, my bed, you're not welcome. You know, more like a disciplinary teacher. And it works. It just, it, it works. You know, it just depends on what you have to just know to keep control. And if you keep control, you really can't. Yeah, I have to learn that yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you, do, you really, you know, playing in this world, which you obviously do, you do. Yeah. And then you'll go through life great and not become one of the crazies. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great answer. Um, and then what do you think humanity, what do you think humanity as a whole needs more of? compassion I agree yeah we just need compassion we live in in a kind of a compassion the divide is bigger between the compassionate and the non-compassionate and it's a hard ride the divide is huge and big and if we could just come from compassion and love everything would be better yeah i agree all right and then what uh who have you who has been your met mentors in your life ah good question i have had several great teachers along the way um one was a, he died before you were born scott he's an author but he was a leader in the early pagan wiccan community scott cunningham I but he died like about 30 years ago him. yeah he's and he's still right what besides recommending my book i always recommend his books <laughs> scott cunningham my, mine and alex kazemi so, but he was an early influence. Um, George Derby, who died a few years ago, he was a great teacher of mine. Um, he was a ceremonial magician and witch and big old gruff guy. He actually married my husband and I. Mm -hmm. uh, last few or last 10 years, Griffin Kett, he's, he's here in Los Angeles where I live. He's a traditional British witch. He's a teacher. He's at this amazing little occult store right here in North Hollywood in Los Angeles. But they have beautiful classes and rituals. But I'm always studying. Even now that I teach a million days a week, even though I'm teaching, I'm still studying. Because I, the more you learn, the more you know that you don't know. And the more there is to learn. And it's like, okay, I don't know enough about Peruvian shamanism. I'm going to study that for six months. Mm -hmm. I'm going to study a little bit more about Tibetan Buddhism. I'm going to study uh, this whole new agey stuff. I'm going to study. And then you just kind of put it all into your cauldron. And again, you have everything to take from. Yeah, I I, I want to put two cents in. I, it's basically everything's the same. It's just different language. That's why yeah. I like the way you approach stuff. Yeah, it, it's a different, it's like a template. Like an old day when you put your template for your Word document, it's a different template. But whatever your, the words you use are from typical Judeo-Christian words to pagan words, to new age words, to scientific words. My grandfather was this, leading psychoanalyst very academic atheist and i read his books and he uh he almost believes the same thing i do he really does even though he doesn't believe in spirit or god or anything like that it's it's my cat screaming uh -oh. larry cat it's fine it's I the have they see things you know they see things <laughs> So, yeah, it, I look at it as a, as a template. Whatever template you use or combination thereof is great because use it's your roadmap. It's your roadmap to navigate life yeah. and the spirits and whatever world you're going into. I, I agree. I like that. I like that answer. Yeah. And then um, number five, what advice can you give to anyone thinking of joining or starting to get into the paranormal as an investigator? Um study learn stuff i mean there's even if you live in the middle of nowhere uh you have the internet you have books and yes there's a bunch of bad and ha half true information but use your intuition to do the difference and then when you start out if you're starting out even like paranormal investigations or 
going, start with people who know what they're doing. You know, don't make your first time out like at Penhurst or, or someplace dark and scary. And then you're all by yourself. You don't that. know what you're doing. <laughs> so, Get involved with a, a, an experienced group. They're everywhere now, you know, if that's what you want. Get in group with experienced group and learn from people who know what they're doing as, as you, you know, don't dive in the pool till you know how to swim. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is the last question. Where would you like to be in your career in five years? Oh, five years from now, mm, same thing, maybe even bigger platform. I, I love teaching, which is great. I love speaking. This year is a little weird with COVID, but I, I tour a lot. I do a lot of colleges where I'll have like oh, 600, you. you know, 18 to 20 year olds. And I love it. Whether I'm motivation speaking or we're talking to the dead, I lift the veil. Um, so I, I always want to do that. I love the TV stuff. I would love the TV stuff where I actually could have a little more control over things, I getting resolution, like not just whether it's hunting ghosts, it doesn't even have to be, or or more spiritual practices, but good resolution, because most of these shows, they just want the sensationalism. The last time, not the last time I did Ghost Adventures, but um, um, it, it was in Scottsdale last year, I think, it was for the first time, because I go in and I'll do it, a seance, or I'll do it, tell them what happened there, and then it'll be collaborated on then. But last time we were in Scottsdale and Zach goes, okay, after our lockdown, I want you to come back and clear the house on camera. I'm like, really? I mean, I've cleared a million other places afterwards, certainly not on camera. And I, that was really good. People it's need like to know closure. that. Yeah, you don't have to live in a badly haunted house. It's really easy to clear. It's really easy. Anybody can do it. So that was really great when stuff like that is getting more, you know, answers, education, resolution based. That and just to put into sense, since you mentioned Zach, that's why I have so much respect for Zach because of that. He's one of the first per people I saw like investigating, but taking it a little bit more serious, even if he put like a little bit of spice in the whole show. <laughs> he did. Well, that he does take it a yeah. little bit serious. He's not like, oh, this is fake or this is blah, blah, blah. Like, no, no. He and, really and, tries. He, he, and he has complete integrity, which I think you have to have. I mean, in the, and he's learned. In the early days, he would do the come on, ghost. He doesn't do that anymore. I know. Um, <laughs> he, and he's so in integrity. Yes, he's uh, what people think is that little bit of spice. It's just because he's committed. I remember before I started like. Who are these these guys in tight t-shirts who like go like this to the ghost and run like little girls? But once you work with them and really start working with them, it's their passion, it's their commitment. They, they seem like this because they're 120% committed, just like you are if you're 10 years old and you're playing, or you're eight years old and you're playing, not playing enough, but that you are committed. That's why their shows in their 20-something season, and they've been on like 11 years. Um, because it's legit and it, and it's real. And believe me, I, they will not, there is no cheating or whatever. They will keep me literally blindfolded, left in the van, put in a private room. Or, so I do not know where I'm going. I do not know any history to it. Um, it's, they'll give me an address that I'll drive to it. I'll fly to it. They'll drive me to it, whatever it is. And if there's no little, oh yeah, three people were killed in the basement. I don't, you know, I'm always, I'm, I'm more worried. I'm not afraid of, of the ghost. I'm more worried like, oh, what if I'm not psychic today? What if I go in there and get nothing? Yeah, but I always do because it's I places wonder really about that. Like, how do you feel like, because I don't want to say it on my channel too much. I'm intuitive and my mom, they have things in the family that just say, like, there's days that you can't, like, that's why I've never really used it too much because like how can you just turn it on <laughs> well that's that's after doing i'm a lot older than you and that's training that is training and practice everything i have an on off switch and i think you have to have an on off switch because i don't want to go to the grocery store and be seeing people's dead people i don't want to be like long island medium i mean she's great they know she's yeah, there. A whole I, love her. She's I don't i just want to go to the grocery store go to the grocery store and then you turn it on the psychic is 10 times stronger so you turn it off most of the time turn it on turn it off then it's not like when you're all those empaths out there getting all like taking on everybody's stress and headache. It's like, that's not, that's not what we're supposed to be doing. We've got to stay above it. 
So yeah, and when I was that, if I do know a place, like I've sent them a couple of locations, like the Reseda House or, or Richard Lael, you know, Richard Lael's right. I'm like, oh my God, Zach, you've got, they've got great ghosts and you're going to love this guy. So shows like that, that he knows I know the history. He doesn't have me do investigations. That's how much integrity they do. You know, I'll show up at the beginning. Okay, okay, go do everything. This is my experience. Because he just wants it so true. And and I respect them so much for that. That's really cool. I've been watching them since I got my really dark experience. And I started researching again. I think it was 2015. I can't remember. So he yeah. did like the mm-hmm. old when the documentary were like, who's this? Oh, this is cool. I want to do this. <laughs> yeah. Beat me yeah. to it. <laughs> but it, it is really cool. Um, yeah. So our closing, you can reach Patty Negri at our website at www.pattynegri.com. She's mm-hmm. also doing classes with um, Nick Haunted Di- Diaries. Yeah. Um, you can check them out. So we're going to do the fun part at the end of the video. We're going to okay. see if we get anything. <laughs> okay. I did say earlier, I'm... Um, like intuitive. I don't know how to say it. it's mine. I don't have control over whatever I have. So you're getting there. You, it, it, I random. You, you, <laughs> you overthink a little is what's the biggest thing we have to learn to not do. And you just don't trust yourself quite enough. You're getting there. You'll get there. You're really intuitive and you're really sensitive to things. So. Yeah, too much. <laughs> that part on too. off switch. On off switch. Some I people know. call it a door. I close the door. Open the door. I call it an on off switch. Start figuring out how to create yours, and and again, both sides will be better. Would it be best for me? Like, and I keep asking. I'm sorry. Like, okay, I'm more connected to like Archangel Michael and the Catholic stuff. So, mm-hmm. is it would that count for me? Like, can I use that just to say I'm closing Archangel Michael, protect me wherever I go, and then that would probably like help me like stop. <laughs> That's your Catholic. That's your language. Okay. Use a Catholic language. I, I, that's exactly what we were talking about to me. I, and the first thing I say when somebody's going to go in and they're going to start an investigation, it's like, what are you going to do when you get scared? Who are you going to call? Like Ghostbusters, what I'm you doing. know, is it, is it Jesus? Is it Archangel Michael? Yeah. Is it your dragons? Is it none are right or wrong, but that's have your navigation. Okay. That's awesome. That's good. I feel good now. <laughs> yeah, okay. You feel good. Yeah. I'm gonna and that's the strong one. Archangel Angel Michael, I mean, Angelic Realm is huge right now. I, because, again, as the veil thins, which it is right now, around Halloween, again, because it is to celebrate the dead time, but because we maybe need angels right now, that whole angel realm, angelic realm, and they're dextral, they're pure. You know, they, they do two things. Angels do two things, enlightenment and protection, two really good things. They're not going to call shift and change. They're just going to enlighten you and protect you. What better? <laughs> I'm drawn to him a lot because I had, and I, I, I hope I don't make this too long for you. Um, um, back in, and this is what really caused me to start spiritually on my journey is back in 2002. My uncle died, and that's probably who you were picking up that day, and my grandpa. And I was like in a dark place and da, 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 da. and I had this dream that it was so real that I thought I was going to die. And just to cut it short, I see the beach where I used to go at and this huge light coming down and the voice is it's like he starts to talk to me like through the mind and you mm-hmm. up here. I'm here, you're going to be the new kind of angel for me that's like messenger or whatever. I'm like freaking out, like I'm not going to die. <laughs> Am I dying today or what's going to, because I was still like through like the concept of death because my, my grandpa, my, my uncle was like my father died. So I guess my brain was going through all that. And then I'm thinking, well, then I'm next. <laughs> and that's why I was thinking that. But he in the dream was like, no, no. Do not fear um, the message. You will be in training and you will be like a new, I have it written somewhere, a new type Isn't of Isn't that angel. beautiful? Yeah. Isn't so, that beautiful? Yeah. Some and, of us are called to it, you know? No matter what else we try to do. <laughs> so, no, really, I want, I want to be a nurse. No. <laughs> 
yeah so it, that's my drawing then since then I started like researching I was 12 I think like back then I started like looking for books and researching this and that and that's what got me in that's why I feel close to Archangel Michael that's beautiful um, thank you uh so we're gonna do the video the video thing the radar thing so I thought I'd put it on here and I'll turn that one on too I got an EMF. I, get anything. <laughs> My, I can't use the ghost radar because I'm talking on the phone. I don't think you could do them both at the same time. <laughs> no, no. I'll just I, put it on, on, on the share screen for this one. Okay. See if it works. Me and my technology. I don't, not my strong suit. I you, we have to do it in this modern world, and I'm 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 learning, kicking and screaming, but you got to do it. <laughs> ah. All right. So I'm supposed to do this, and then share content. I'm supposed to give permission. <laughs> And I don't know, I should do the ghost radar or the maker. It's really loud, the other one. Yeah, the, the, why, one reason I stick to ghost radar most of the time is because, like, the necro, I have a bunch of re, all sorts of them on the thing, but. They're too loud. Yeah. I'll they're too loud them. if you're doing a seance. They're too loud if you're doing an interview like this. Um, but Ghost Radar is not. You know, it doesn't have all that white noise, which I know is very helpful for spirits to talk. But I did it earlier. Okay. <laughs> That's a view. Share content screen. I might just leave it like this and not do it because it's not working. So I'll just cut it off. Because <laughs> it's not Technology. working. Go. Mercury's retrograde, the veil is thin, <laughs> all of the above. <laughs> I'll just leave it like this, and I'll leave it on the, if it starts to make noise, well, then we'll hear it. And not the commercial. <laughs> and I'll turn this by. That earlier was saying stuff, I was like, no, not yet. Shh. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I'm going to put it far away because I notice if it's too close to the stuff, it starts to. Right. Yeah, you got to watch. I usually have phones on airplane mode. And yeah, that's stuff you learn from the investigators as you're going out with people who know what they're doing. <laughs> okay. Now we can start. Let's see. That's already something there. Or was it this that's picking it up? Mm -hmm. It's already picking something up. It's everywhere. <laughs> Tis the season. Tis the season. <laughs> I when I used to go to work a lot is when they would follow me home. But since I haven't been out. <laughs> yeah, I Probably. I think the spirits spirits are just as whacked as we are because they're confused. There you go. They're confused. They feel our agitation, our confusion, fear, all the stuff that's increased in all of us with the pandemic and everything going on. So yeah. they're a little woogie too. I had a really weird dream when that started in March. Right. I get more stuff in dreams than like in front of like in front of me. 
Right. Well, well, dream time is good. One, I mean, you're in a different brain state, plus you get your that logical left brain out of the way, which is what keeps you from your psychic ability or intuition. So that's why I do that. Brains, that dream school thing, water by your bed. Do the more you could do at night. Good. I've been doing that. I'm trying. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Um, I'm not getting too much. Didn't invite anybody in though. Do you want to invite somebody in? (laughs) Maybe we should do that. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna take off the back screen though, so because we can't, I can't really show. Where is it? The virtual background. I'm gonna take it off for a second. That way. It... Okay. Ignore the mess behind me. Hey. Hi, <laughs> lovely. Um, yeah, so if we want to call any spirits that are uh, somewhere between Maria and myself or both places, time and space doesn't count on the other side. You know, nothing dark, nothing negative, but any light spirits, bright spirits, uh, spirits from the other side who want to show themselves to us, talk to us, we peek the veil, peek the veil open for true communication and love and respect so invite you in look at my the emf meter starts going immediately <laughs> oh, that's how I was looking gotta at. Ask. <laughs> you gotta ask so come on so any spirits here um if there's anybody i know there's something here but it's friendly for a while yeah we're only allowed if there's anybody I know there's something here, but it's friendly for a while. Yeah. We're only allowed. Yeah. Even even this our little bitty raising of the veil. Only yeah. love and friendly. We have again, we have control. Yeah, you have somebody there. You have somebody um they either they were human, they either died of an illness or it could have been it could have been blood in their mouth. I get the a taste I got. My, it's male, and it could be a metallic taste, which could either be drugs or illness or or blood. Oh, but they're not negative. They're just this they're just hanging. Something. What? You said something about Tuesday, that last time. Just to say the story, and maybe the the connection now too might be, might be not. Um. I used to work at uh, someone close to us died. So I went to the little, they had like a little chap- chapel there for the little funeral for people that knew the person. And there's these little pamphlets. Before I left the job, that I had to leave. I had thrown that away because I wanted to let them go, let the person go. Tuesday. <laughs> Uh, I'm putting stuff away. <laughs> I see that pamphlet. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure I threw it away. Why are you here? <laughs> I just remember that. Interesting. Well, it certainly could be. And again, now is the time to think about the dead, whatever relationships and things like that. It's it's their time. It's the dark time. It's sour. So. But the other, if it's not him, it might be before we moved into the house, there was someone that passed away um, a while back but due to an illness. And the, the people that stay over here, they've smelled like cigars and we don't smoke cigars. If, and my husband smokes outside. Oh, there you go. There you go. That's <laughs> yeah. The, there you go. The right on me, or the, I can't tell. Yeah, behind me or the right on me. Lincoln. 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 Oh my God! No way. Oh, tell us, Maria. Tell us. It's. I used to work. That's for the address. That would make. Of the person. Where I used to work at. There you go. On Lincoln. And again, look at my EMF meter. It's going woogity, woogity, woogity. 
Oh, mine's went off. <laughs> it's going off. <laughs> it's going off. It, I am That's not. how it works. We just had to invite him in. He needs to go though, because I feel I feel bad for him. He's okay. I mean, I, I mean, they're almost always, unless Mine's they're really shady, that people are okay. Yeah. Oh, sweetheart. Now I'm going to have to call Hope. <laughs> My friend, they're like, guess who visited us? Which? No, yeah. Which, like, which way? Mm-hmm. Oh, this is. Do you need something, buddy, to help you pass on? This is the time. This is what Samhain, Halloween is really the pagan holiday of Samhain. It's when the veil is thinnest. That's the right reason people dress up. I know we've talked about it, but that people dress up to scare away any bad spirit. You put jack-o'-lanterns and pumpkins outside to scare away the bad ones. But it's really about celebrating the dead and um, and helping them cross over. This is the time of year to do it. There's like horsemen who go out of spirit and collect the, the, the dead and help them cross. So maybe that's why it's here. I was asking my mom, can you give me a picture of my uncle? Cause I know I had him like a nice military appearance uh, when he was younger and I couldn't find this picture. And so I'll be looking for it for you. Cause I want to do that what you said, that's nice. Yeah, put out their photos, light a candle, some incense, celebrate them. Yeah. Do a dump supper. Well, I heard a voice, but it didn't come up. I don't know if it, it was from here or I heard a voice. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> huh? I heard it on this side of my ear, but it sounded like okay. you were probably standing on that side. And, and for people listening, and sometimes you hear it on the outside, mm-hmm. sometimes you hear it on the inside of your head. That's the it, it, not one is better than the other. Sometimes you see something over here. There's a figure over here. Sometimes you see it inside your mind over here. They're all equal. Sometimes you smell it on the outside, smell it on the inside. You've got to get, you know, heighten all your senses. I get smells. It's like random though. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm gonna put it here because it just was doing it again. It was over here and I wasn't touching it, but I can't like, it's really cool. I think that's good. (laughs) Oh, that's good. Oh, there's two. Now that I said this, there's two came out. Well, y'all yeah, better hurry up because I'm about to leave. <laughs> I don't want to take Patty's time. They do have a sense of humor they and do. a funny sense of timing. <laughs> a sense of humor and a funny sense of time. Well, you just said that and it said feet. <laughs> and my uncle was the one that always had a thing with my feet. <laughs> Really? Yeah, he's like, they look like little sausage feet. Uh-huh. Yeah, they, that's how they talk. They show us things. Sometimes it's little memories. Sometimes I'm always trying to decipher things in, 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 to communicate for people. You know, what is it about your sausage feet or whatever? It's pretty funny. <laughs> so. That's cool. So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it there then because I don't want to take up too much time. And we'll close it down. We want to thank the spirits. We're gonna shut it down. We don't want to keep them there, even if they wanted there, not on this watch. So we just we picture the veil closing down. Thank them, respect, see them step back, step back. So I have to take. And then get mundane. Get you know, laugh, watch yeah. television, have a funny conversation. Thank you. Oh my God, Patty, this is really cool. Um, what an honor. Jeez. Well, thank you for having me on. It was an honor. You're great. And I wish you well on your journey. You're doing great. Thank so. you. I hope to continue.
<laughs> uh, I'll see you soon. Thank you. Um, and again, anybody watching, please feel free to go up to Patty's website. They have she has a lot of stuff on there, and Nick Haunted Dark. A lot of stuff. They have a lot of stuff. PattyNegri.com. Mm -hmm. YouTube. I have all of Facebook, Instagram, Twitter that you kind of got to have these days. So, yep, <laughs> easy to find. What an honor. Thank you. Um, enjoy the rest of Halloween, too, if I don't see you guys. Bye. You, too. We've got the whole orange-purple thing going on. I like it. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Thank Bye. you.